All right, guys, welcome back to another Cooking with Kiki. We are making chicken enchiladas tonight. I've already got the chicken cooked. We've got my ingredients ready. We're going to use garlic for the chicken. A little bit of black pepper. And cumin. Oh, my bad. And cumin. To season it. Right, shake it all in there. There is all the seasoning. If you have clean hands, you can just smoosh it all around like that or use a spoon or utensil. All right. I'm going to add cream of chicken. Monterey Jack cheese. Your choice on how much you want to add. Mexican cheese. Oops, open it. Oh, that's a lot. Sorry. Happy accident. And it's like cream cheese, but less fat. That's what I had. Uh, it's what I had in my fridge. You want to get it out a couple of hours in advance so that way it's softening. I'm probably using about a little bit more than a quarter of it because we want it really creamy and cheesy. All right. Set that aside. It's getting really creamy and cheesy. And then I am adding queso fresco crumbly cheese. If you have dairy issues, this is your warning. Stop now. Or just go ahead strong. All right, guys, I had to get a bigger bowl because that's a lot of stuff. I want to mix it all together. Make sure the cream cheese is well blended through. And then add some green chilies. Your choice on how hot you want them to be. I am doing mild. If you want anything extra spicy, just get some salsa at the end. Or if, you, if you're not sharing, that is. There are family members here that do not like spicy. Alright guys, we are going to roll. I am using... The burrito like tortillas because you can get more in there and it's easier to roll. I'm just going to grab a little stack full and roll until I run out of filling. And then swoosh it in the middle. Kind of fold the top, the bottom, and then roll it as tight as you can. That wasn't a very good successful roll, but it'll do. As long as the filling stays inside. Now this is a white chicken, white cheese enchilada. There are red sauces, there are green sauces, your choice. You can do bean burritos, beef 
Oh, these aren't burritos. My bad. You can do beef enchiladas. You can do a vegetarian. It is your choice. We are using chicken tonight. Now, while you're doing this, you're, um, I cooked the chicken before I got this part started. So, if you're going to do it like right away, you can leave your oven preheated. So, that way you can just shove these in there. And you don't have to wait too long, and neither does your family. Now, I didn't cook my chicken all the way. I cooked them for about 25 minutes on 350. So that way they don't get overcooked when we cook them in the enchiladas. Alright. I think I can fit one more. Right now it's what he is. So we can dig in here because I've got just enough. Or one more. It may not be a very big one, but waste not, want not. And to make them extra cheesy, we are adding some more white cheese. This is white American. We are going to add it in our already preheated oven at 355 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Set a timer. And we will be back. Alright guys, they're done, and as you saw, they're nice and cheesy looking. Thanks for joining me in Cooking with Kiki. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below for any future videos. Bye!